I'm Elena Carrasco, a teacher of the Department of Food Science and Technology of the University of Córdoba, Spain. From the university, we are very pleased to present this video on chromatographic analysis of food, which is the object of a teaching innovation project that I coordinate and has been developed jointly by a group of teachers of my department, UCO Digital and Sky staff. I'm Macarena Menendez Garcia, technical staff of metabolomic and mass spectrometry and chromatography of Sky, central service for research support at the University of Córdoba. We carry out a qualitative analysis of pesticide in a food of plant origins such as tomato using as analytical technique gas chromatography mass spectrometry with a single quadrupole analyzer. The objective of this analysis was to detect the possible presence of pesticide in food. Before proceeding to the analytical assay, we will explain some basic concepts necessary for a better understanding. Chromatography is an analytical technique in which chemical compounds are separated to determine their identity and concentration. In the case of gas chromatography, or GC, the compounds are separated in the gaseous phase. Mass spectrometry, or mass spec, is nowadays the most extraordinary and complete analytical technique, and it is characterized by its identification capacity. It can be used both for qualitative and quantitative analysis, it can analyze complex samples, it has a high sensitivity, it is universal and specific, it provides both structural and isotopic information, and it is a rapid technique. Mass spectrometers have three different parts. Firstly, ions are produced at the ionization source and then separated in the analyzer. Finally, the detector will identify and quantify the ions. In the case of gas chromatography coupled with mass spectrometry, or GCMS, the most widely used ionization source is the electronic impact at 70 electron volts, EV, where both ionization and fragmentation of the molecules take place. The analyzer used is a simple quadrupole, and the acquisition mode that we will use is full scan, or complete ion scanning, which will provide us with structural information of the molecule. For the identification of a compound with this technique, the steps to follow would be to select a part of the chromatogram to obtain its mass spectrum and compare it with the NIST or internal library where the unknown compound will be identified. The NIST mass spectra database contains compounds acquired by GCMS with an ionization energy of 70 electron volts, and it contains about 240,000 mass spectra, and the interpretation of the results will depend on the reverse, or R match, value, which provides a measure of the match of the acquired spectrum compared to the database spectra. Values greater than 900 correspond to excellent matches, whilst values lower than 600 would be poor. The European standard describes a method for analysis of pesticide residues in foods of plant origin by using the catcher's extraction and purification method. Rapid, easy, cheap, effective, rugged and safe method. The European Commission defines both the pesticides and the active substances that may be present in food, their legal limits, or MRLs, maximum residue levels, and the search for such limits can be performed for the analytical results obtained. Traceability in the laboratory is very important. Thus, the first thing that should be done in the lab is to verify its correct identification. According to the UNE15662 standard, the partial sample is first prepared for the analysis. It is divided into quarters, and then the portion for analysis is blended for its complete homogenization. For qualitative analysis, it is necessary to prepare both a matrix blank and the sample to be analyzed. Both samples are prepared following the procedure described in the UNE15662 standard. The extraction and purification procedure with dispersive solid phase extraction, or DSPE, that will be carried out can be seen in the image. First of all, in the extraction tube, we weigh the 10 grams of sample and add the organic solvent, in this case, acetonitrol, and shake to allow for complete contact. The necessary salts are added in the extraction step of pesticides, such as magnesium sulfate, which improves the partition between the phases, the sodium chloride, 
that controls the polarity, enhancing the extraction of pesticides from the matrix to the organic phase, and the citrate salts that adjust the pH to 5.5 to extract all acidic and alkaline pesticides. After extraction and centrifugation, we go next to the cleanup step, taking 6 milliliters of the extract and adding salts such as the PSA that will eliminate the organic acids, fatty acids, sugars and pigments that might have passed into the organic phase. Finally, for the injection of the sample in GCMS, an alicot of acetonitrile is evaporated and reconstituted in the same volume of the cyclohexane ethyl acetate mixture, since these solvates have a lower boiling point, which will improve the evaporation of the compounds in the injector of the GC. After preparing the samples and prior to injection, we verify the instrumental parameters of both the gas chromatograph and the mass spectrometer, ensuring they are both ready. To proceed with the analysis of the samples, the sequence is first of all created in its corresponding folder. First, we inject the matrix blank, specifying both the position of the vial and the volume of injection. Secondly, we insert the prepared tomato sample we select the folder where the data will be saved, and the full scan method of analysis for the qualitative analysis. Once GCMS is ready, the analysis of the samples will begin. When processing the data, we can observe a chromatographic peak in the sample that is not in the matrix blank, which is identified as papyrinol butoxide. Another type of data can also be extracted from the chromatograph of the tomato sample, such as alpha tocopherol, with a reverse match of 943, which is the main component of vitamin E. Piperinol butoxide is a synergist of pesticides. That is, it does not have pesticide properties, but it considerably increases its effectiveness. We look for this active substance in the European Commission's pesticides database, where we can verify that it is classified as a synergist.